Are you a determined and ambitious woman entrepreneur seeking to elevate your selling skills? Then I have a training for you. It's called How Any Woman Can Confidently Close Any Deal in a One-on-One Sales Call in Any Business or Industry. In this training, you'll be shown three techniques that you can immediately apply to your consultation calls and improve your close rate. This is a live training with me, and there's going to be an opportunity to ask questions. So come get yourself registered right now by going to yoursalesmaven.com forward slash close. Easy, right? Okay, I'm going to see you there. sales conversations make you feel awkward or pushy, it's time to ditch the outdated salesy strategies. Your guide, Nikki Rausch, will show you how to combine kindness with selling skills to meet your prospects where they are, and in the process, how to up-level your influence and income. Learn how to earn business easily and effortlessly. Here's Nikki. Welcome to the Sales Maven Show. I'm Nikki Roush. I'm your host. And today is a solo episode. It's just you and me having a conversation. And I thought it would be uh, uh, timely to be talking about client appreciation initiatives. And the reason why I'm bringing this episode to you today is because, depending on when you listen to this, we have just officially kicked off for the fourth year in a row member appreciation inside the Sales Maven Society. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this because this comes up a lot around um, client appreciation initiatives. I get a lot of questions from clients about like, what is the right thing to do? What should you be giving people? What are some things that draw um, people in and or make people feel appreciated and valued? And so I'm just going to share what I have been doing and what I have found works and I'm happy to share the things that haven't worked so well as as along the along the way. Um, I think this is important because I do have a philosophy around when at all possible, I want to surprise and delight people in my orbit and specifically my clients. So when I can surprise and delight them, that is me achieving an ultimate goal. And I will also say that, um, you know, when they talk about people's love language, <laughs> Mine is not gifts. So to give others gifts doesn't come natural to me. As a matter of fact, I have somebody on my team who one of her main roles is to help pour love on my clients and help surprise and delight them because it's something that's one of her natural gifts. That's definitely not one of mine. I like to coach. I like to be the like cheer you on, give you ideas, walk with you and guide. But the gift thing, doesn't come natural. So we decided to implement four years ago, Client Appreciation Month, and we do it in the month of February in the Sales Maven Society as because, you know, it's the month to, it's the month of love uh, with Valentine's Day, but it's our way to pour love onto our membership. Now, when we first did it the first year, we did, you know, some prizes and some giveaways and we did some extra you know, thanks in the group. People got some extra coaching with me and they got to win prizes. And we did some fun questions and tried to make it fun. And it was fine. And then the next year, we kind of did something similar, but we like upped the amount of gifts. And uh, again, I think the members had fun. We got some good feedback on it. But I remember last year before we we were getting ready to start the planning of it. I, one of the things that I love to do is I do these river walks. So I live in a place where we have this beautiful river and we have a green belt along the river and walking along the river for me is like my, uh, I feel like it's a way to refresh my soul and refill my cup. Um, So I remember going for a walk down by the river and having some conversations in the privacy of my own mind and through prayer and through, you know, thought uh, about what what is the whole purpose behind member appreciation in addition to surprise and delighting clients? Like, 
what what is the meaning behind it? And what do I ultimately, like what was my outcome in doing it? And what was my outcome for clients in having it? So I remember being on this walk and thinking about driving behavior and what were the things that, you know, I most was hoping that people would get out of member appreciation uh, month and what I really wanted them to get out of it, what my ultimate outcome was, is for them to uh, engage in the group in a meaningful way that would help them see the value for themselves of being in the group versus me having to constantly, you know, remind and refresh the value of the group and the, you know, dynamic pieces that people get out of it. I wanted it to be something that they would do for themselves. So on my walk, I came up with this idea of assigning points. So I have a background of managing sales teams in my career. And one of the things that I got really good at was launching promotions and contests to drive behavior. So I pulled from my (laughs) sales days And I thought one of the things that used to really drive behavior was to give people points and then award them prizes for the points that they earned. Um, And I have done in my career, you know, really cool things for clients. Like uh, I bought a client a boat one time. I took a client to the Super Bowl one time. Uh, I've taken clients to Mexico, many clients to Mexico. I've taken clients to Japan. And... uh, taking clients to really expensive dinners and really raunchy things and like all like I've done the everything the gamut right of client stuff uh bought clients all kinds of things so with that said I thought okay so how could I bring my expertise of building promotions and working with um you know companies that award points and things like that like what could I bring into the sales maven society so On my walk, I came up with this idea of giving participant points. So that's what I call them. So I want people to participate and I wanted to give them points. So I call them participant points. So last year, we started giving points for the behaviors that we wanted in the group and then people would get rewarded. So in addition to doing the fun things and the prizes and the like little extras throughout the month, which we will, you know, we did them last year, we're doing them again this year. We started giving points for behaviors and some of the behaviors that I knew will make a difference to people being in the group. One is to actually go through the training. So we started rewarding points for people that completed sections of training in the training center. Last year, during the month of February, we had 142 lessons completed in that month alone, which is an outrageous number compared to other months. People went in and they're like, ah, I get points and I'm learning at the same time. So people got really, you know, a lot of points for it. And then they could redeem those points, by the way, for um, sessions with me, different types of work that I offer. Um, So I had somebody claim a VIP program with me last year. People claimed strategy sessions. They claimed spotlight coaching sessions, master classes, all kinds of things people were able to redeem their points for. So we wanted to drive lessons. So we gave points for people completing lessons. One of the things we also wanted to do was drive community. That's a really important piece to my group program is community. So we gave our members points for having member to member meetings is what we called them. 15 minute or more meetings. And from last year, people that did these meetings, I think we figured out we had 34 member to member meetings that people did in the month of February. And some of those people built really strong relationships. They ended up like buying from each other. They ended up collaborating together. Some of them have formed, I think, like a a study group. (laughs) I mean, it's just been incredible results when I brought the point system in. And so, of course, we brought it back this year and have implemented it. The first day that we launched it, we had 15 people get points on the board in the first just couple hours. And some people already more than, 
trying to think, more than more than 70 points in just the first day alone. So that is what works for my group. <laughs> is like, what can I do to drive behavior with a client initiative? And I'm sharing this story not in any way to be like, oh, pat me on the back. <laughs> it's not about me. It's truly about client initiatives that actually do something for your business and do something for the person who's participating in it. So this was my thing that I came up with, this idea of giving points and rewarding people. And it's working really well in the society, you know, my my group coaching program. But there are other things that you can do. And there's some other um, like ideas that I've given to clients and we've seen success with. I know one of my clients um, over the holiday season, this is a client who she gives out these incredible gifts to her clients. They're, I don't know what she pays for them, but I'm sure they're not cheap. And one of the things that I had suggested to her this year was to implement kind of another step. Like, can we can we get people not just being appreciative of the gift, but actually taking some kind of action and so she came up with this really clever way to do this. And now it's allowing for her to do some really um, kind of targeted follow-up with potential clients as a result of like these pieces that she put into place. So again, the purpose in sharing this episode with you today is to hopefully inspire or challenge you to think of what are ways for you to engage, reward recognize and drive behavior with your clients or prospective clients. What can you do? And if you would like to talk about this with me, this is something we could do a session on um, or you know, come join the Sales Maven Society and we can talk about it in there. And guess what? You get to participate in some of the fun things. Um, but I will tell you, when you find the thing that works for you, it is, it's the best time, energy, money that I spend. I will say like, I'm so delighted to spend money on this big event every year for my group. I'm so delighted to do it because of what happens as a result throughout the year for the members. It brings people closer together. It deepens people's learning, and which is the whole point in me having the training center. So just to challenge you to come up with like the thing that is going to feel so rewarding to you for any of your client appreciation initiatives, like what can you do that's going to drive behavior and drive results and also leave people feeling surprised and delighted by you. All right, wishing you continued success in all you're doing. I'd love your feedback about this episode. If there was something I said that spurred an idea for you, I would love to hear what that was. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for listening to Sales Maven. Visit us online at yoursalesmaven.com slash maven for more resources to boost your confidence and skills. Are you ready to increase your confidence in your sales conversations? I have a gift for you that is going to show you exactly how to do that. It is my closing the sale ebook. It's all about leveling up your confidence, giving you language to use, how to seamlessly move somebody through the sales process. And you can get it right now by going to yoursalesmaven.com forward slash maven. Go grab it.